chaos in Kyrgyzstan as protesters seize a police van. They slam it through the gate of the central government headquarters in Bishkek. Thousands of anti-government protesters storm the square. Witnesses say police lobbed tear gas and flash grenades as the crowd demanded the resignation of President Kormanbek Bakiev. <laughs> Hundreds hurt, scores killed. The battle uncertain. Here, it's the protesters chasing the police. The police barely able to protect themselves. That's the sound of rock on metal shields. Police moving in mass to escape the crowd. Anger even spilling over to hospital hallways against President Baikiev, while the wounded lie on the floor waiting for treatment. First it was the Kiev regime, now it's the Bakiev regime. People are unhappy, young people, we are all poor, no jobs. They are shooting at people. After this, there will be blood for blood. Tensions have been rising in this mountainous country of five million over what activists call repressive government policies, corruption, rising utility costs, and the killing of journalists. Christopher Walker is with Freedom House. Central Asia remains one of the most politically repressive places uh, anywhere in the world. And this, I think, is another um, major concern for anyone who's looking for uh, the sorts of improvements that would enable meaningful economic, security, and political relationships throughout the region. U.S. State Department spokesman P.J. Crowley had this to say. Uh, we steadfastly uphold the integrity of the Kyrgyz Republic and continue our firm support for the people of Kyrgyzstan. The Central Asian nation hosts a U.S. air base that supports military operations in Afghanistan. Walker says America needs to walk a fine line promoting democracy in Kyrgyzstan. What's critically important is that the uh, U.S. government continues to keep um, a meaningful emphasis on longer-term democratic reform, which will, in the end, provide a more stable and reliable partner for the other interests we have there. Walker doesn't think the uprising will spread to neighboring countries, but a change of government in Kyrgyzstan could have a direct impact on the area's character. Kyrgyzstan, according to Walker, was once admired as the one country in the region that enjoyed the most freedoms. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.